Hi guys, my name is Brian Feldman and I'm a Microsoft Azure and Security MVP. In today's video, I will show you how to use the Microsoft Learn MCP. But for the people who don't know what an MCP is, the MCP stands for the Model Context Protocol. You could think of an MCP like a USB-C port for AI applications. An MCP makes it easy to connect to external sources. For example, your local data source like an, a database that you host on your local machine or a remote MCP server such as an Azure MCP server to interact with your Azure resources. So now you know what an MCP is, let's go ahead and check out the Microsoft Learn MCP. A time ago, Microsoft released an MCP for the Learn environment, which is a remote MCP server that enables you to interact with the Microsoft Learn documentation. In the backend, it uses a streamable HTTP so that you can fetch all the information from the Microsoft documentation. And in my opinion, it's very powerful. I use it to search for the latest changes, for example, of Azure Bicep. However, we need to configure our AI application to use the Microsoft Learn MCP server. So in this case, I'm using the Cloud AI application and I can go to the search and tool settings. And from here, I can add a connector. And then I will go over to the manage connectors. As you can see, we see all the native connectors that are available in the Cloud application. I also added the locker which is in Microsoft Graph MCP. I will show you that in a moment. However, the Microsoft Learn MCP is not listed above. So what we now need to do is add the custom connector for the Microsoft Learn MCP. I just fill out the name, which is the Microsoft Learn MCP. And then I add the remote MCP server URL, which is the learn.microsoft.com forward slash API forward slash MCP. I will also add the URL in the description of this video. And for now we click on add. So this is it. We can see that the Microsoft Learn MCP is connected. We see the custom connector. And now let's check out and use the MCP. So from a new chat, we can open the settings and check out if the Microsoft Learn MCP is enabled. And of course we can see because the toggle is on. For now, let's check out if the Microsoft Learn MCP is working. For example, I want to check the latest Azure Bicep changes in the documentation and list them in a table for clear overview, which makes it easy to understand. So we can now see that the marks of learn MCP is kicking in. We see the marks of doc search. We can see that the question, the query that we did is fetched into a new query and there's a response, something about Microsoft graph. And because it finds something in a new bicep version, it's searching on the web to add more information. And now we are getting the table, like a bug fix for the Microsoft Graph error and diagnostics, and also more core features that are there. And really nice to know that the Microsoft Graph provider for bicep has been released in GA in July. And we're also getting the key highlights from the changes in the Azure Bicep documentation. So this makes it really easy for me to ask the AI model what are the changes? Instead, going to the URLs, to the documentation, checking all the information out, and then getting the information clear for myself. Just in seconds, I get a table with all the information that I need. For the sake of this demo, I'm just starting a new chat every time so that I have a clear context of the AI model. My next question is about pursuing a new AZ exam. I like to have new exams, and this is just for a demo. Of course, I have the AZ 104. However, maybe you are just working for that exam and you would like to know the information what do I need to pass the exam? Well, the AI model, including the model context protocol, can just create a super nice dashboard, which makes it easy to understand what do I need. I just simply hit on the enter, and now it's just fetching the information from the marks of documentation. It will help us create a comprehensive dashboard. We can see the marks of docs search, which has been refactored to a new query. And there's also response. Now it's getting more specific information. So right now it's creating a dashboard for us to understand what we need to pass the AZ-104 exam. And just within seconds, we have a super clean dashboard, including all the information about the exam. For example, the cost breakdown, the exam essentials, like the questions, the minutes, the duration, and the passing score. Also the skills that are going to be measured on the exam, like manage Azure identities and governance, and also the prerequisites and experience, for example, the most handy in this case is to have six months plus on hands-on Azure administration. So right now I've showed you two examples of the Microsoft Learn MCP. 
So this is basically the Microsoft Learn MSP working native on itself. However, you can also enable the Microsoft Learn MSP to work with other MSPs. For example, the Locka, the Microsoft Graph MSP, as mentioned before. The Microsoft Graph Locka MSP has been created by Mara Fernando, which is a product manager at Microsoft. I also posted a blog about how to set up this MSP. You will find the URL in the description of this video. While I was recording a demo, Cloud AI crashed, so that's why I switched over to VS Code. Because using GitHub Copilot, you can also play around with MCPs. So right now I will go to selected tools and check out if the Microsoft Graph MCP has been enabled. So checking out, we can see that the Microsoft Locker Graph MCP has been enabled. And the same goes by for the Microsoft Learn MCP. To make sure that the MCPs are going to work together, I've crafted a new prompt. I simply said, check out the Microsoft documentation for Entry ID security best practices, then review my Entry ID to see if I'm aligned, and after reviewing, provide me with a clear table that highlights what is good and what needs improvement. So in the first case, it must call out to the Microsoft documentation to check out the Entry ID security best practices, and then it needs to review my Entry ID to see if I'm aligned. So that's the moment that the Locka Microsoft Graph MCP is kicking in. I simply click on the enter and let's go. So right now it's fetching the Microsoft Enter ID documentation. And to check the authentication status on my behalf, Locka needs to get an authentication status. So I need to continue. Locka is running right now in the background with all the permissions it has. It says that it has the necessary permissions to review my Enter ID, which is perfect. And right now I'm going to click on continue. So as you can see, I had to approve every step in this process. However, one step in the process failed because Locker was unable to fetch out the privilege identity management settings because it didn't have the permissions. And scrolling down, we can see that we have an enter ID security assessment aligned with the Microsoft best practices. So we can check out the different statuses of the security areas. For example, the external access management is proper. However, we need to work on the legacy authentication because we don't have any dedicated policy to block legacy protocols. In my opinion, this is super powerful. We can use MCPs to work together to fetch information about systems, about documentation from Microsoft, and then combine them together to get a security assessment. Thank you for watching to this video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe below. Thank you for watching.